Welcome to the Googleplex. This is an incredible place with lots of great stuff being worked on every single day. Before I worked here, I always wondered what it would be like to come to the Googleplex, meet up with a Googler, and have coffee with them, and just chat about what they do, how they do it, and why they do it. And today we're going to do exactly that. Welcome to this episode of Coffee with a Googler. Today I have a very special guest. You may have seen his face in the Google Play Services videos, or you may have had a t-shirt shot at you during Google I.O. And this is the man responsible, Magnus Hitston. Welcome to Coffee. Thank you so much. Thanks. So tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do at Google. I've been at Google for over one and a half years now. Okay. And the last year and a three months, I've been working intensively with Google Play Services. Okay, yeah. cool. So what, what is Google Play Services? So, yeah, so Google Play Services it. is a, a layer of APIs that sits on top of Android. Okay. Uh, so for all the applications that are distributed to the Google Play Store, uh, these set of APIs are available for the app developers. All right. And these APIs, they include things like location, activity recognition, maps, and, and many other things. There are about 12 APIs in this thing. Uh, and you can use these, and they will then connect to the back-end data centers that Google has um, to provide these information services. OK, cool. Now, we had Francis Mao on the show a few weeks back. And uh, one of the things that Francis shared with us was that with the releases of Google Play services, we named them after cheeses. Correct. Right. And I, and I hear the latest one is Parmesan. Is that Parmesan, right? that's Sorry, correct, Parmesan. yeah. Now, you've been working on some great release content for Parmesan. Could you tell us about that? Absolutely. So. Um, so Parmesan, obviously being P, we've released a lot of these things. Uh, on average, we probably release one Google Play Services version every two months or so, six okay. to eight weeks. So there's a lot of functionality that we're able to pack into this thing. And that gets distributed to all of the users okay. uh, of, of that are connected to the Google Play Store. So it's, it's really a massive user base that gets this. Previously, you could only have one wearable connected to your phone. So now you can have any number of wearables connected uh, oh, to your wow. phone. So you can actually run around with multiple devices, and they're all interacting in a network connected to your device. Wow, and you're the hub of this network, basically. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's, uh, you can, that's cool. we can find a lot of interesting services that can build around that. Um, nice. So we'll see a lot of it. And then we have enhancements to Google Fit. Google Fit is quite a new API. Right. So there are continuous enhancements all the time to Google Fit. And it's, uh, we're really excited about that. And with that nice frequent release update cycle, then bugs get fixed quick. New features get rolled in quickly. Yes. So there's lots of good stuff for developers. Yeah, so I, I mean, I, if, if, if you're a developer out there uh, developing applications, just following the enhancements and functionality that we push into Google Play Services gives you a very competitive edge to, um, to building new things Sweet. that haven't been, done, be, been possible to do before. Now, one of the things that you're notorious for is how zanily you produce this content, right? So all the release, <laughs> all the release videos have Magnus doing his things. So we're just going to roll a quick clip of that now. We're also super excited to announce that we are releasing Google Play Services 6.5, enabling you to build better apps. And what are we doing again? Recording Dev Byte. Get to work. That's right. Fitness, however, is all about today. Like, how many steps have you taken today? How many calories have you put in your body today? How many push-ups have you done? Today. That's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how do you come up with all of that? Well, in the beginning, it was just an idea to keep these things funny and engaging. And after a while, we thought, how are we going to be able to sustain this, come up with new things all the time? Uh, and it kind of solved itself, because every single release has new stuff that you can talk about. You don't need to invent anything new. You can just look at the things that are in a release, and then you can find many fun things to do with them. Like activity recognition. Obviously, Google Fit is a fantastic API. You can right. go out in the nature and, and do crazy things, right? Yeah. Um, and you can just imagine now for Parmesan being capable of connecting multiple wearables uh, to, to, <laughs> to a device like this. I mean, obviously, it was too tempting to resist, right? So we had to <laughs> just dress up all the arms with wearables. And, that and must have hurt. Crazy stuff. <laughs> well, it took some time to actually mount them on, because these straps, they're not long enough to, uh, to go with around. Big biceps like yours. So we had to uh, use some <laughs> duct tape to, to get that going. <laughs> That's the dirty little secret, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, with, with all those kind of crazy stunts and things that you do in video, something must have gone wrong somewhere. Absolutely. I mean, there, there are things that go wrong beyond, beyond just the script. 
I mean, obviously when we're doing these physical things with bikes <laughs> and we're running around, so we have missteps and you hurt your foot or whatever. Uh, I remember biking and falling off the bike because you're really excited, you want to get the scene going, right? And, and you, you make that little extra effort right. um, to make it exciting. And in the process of that, you may forget your personal security. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> your personal security. So we had some incidents with respect to that. I heard there was something about a wet t-shirt. Oh yeah, so. in, in, in one of the uh, videos, we, we had the activity recognition. We had this Android voice. Uh, speaking to me, saying, "What am I?" I, I said, "What am I doing now?" You're running, <laughs> and and <laughs> things like that. And at the end of that scene, uh, I was supposed to come up and look at Googleplex right. and be all wet, okay. simulating sweat. Then, but obviously we had water. Right. The problem is that uh, that scene did not go well, and we only had one T-shirt. So we were standing there with a wet T-shirt, and we had we needed to re-record re the scene, right? Okay. So. Um, so we just had to run over to the Google store and, and buy another T-shirt and, okay. and get on it again. Did you film that scene last, or did you film it I first? Was, yeah, it was the last scene, okay. so that was a good thing. So that's yeah. not so bad. Yeah. Cool. Now, Google I.O. last year, you had a session, and I, I hear it was a really highly engaging session, and you even brought a T-shirt launcher, is that's that right? right? That's right. We thought, how do we, how do we make uh, Google I.O. engaging? And how can we actually get the audience interacting with uh, the speech because you're sitting there and it's no. hundreds of people down and you can't ask specific questions or engage with individual people. So we got this idea from from a TV show and we essentially ordered a T-shirt launcher. So it's sitting that right there uh, <laughs> in my cabinet now. I know where um, I'm going when we're done shooting this video. Under my <laughs> under my desk, right, is sitting there. I haven't been using it since Google I/O last year, so I. Google I/O is coming up soon, cool. so I think it's a good opportunity to in the next couple of days take so. that thing out and. See if it works. Sounds like fun. So we'll be seeing you at I.O. again this year? Absolutely. We'll cool. have a lot okay. of fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it too. OK. So, well, thanks so much, Magnus, for coming. This was a whole lot of fun. We learned so much. And Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for watching this far. This was uh, Magnus Hitston talking about Google Play services. We called it Parmesan, but it's also released 7.3. So watch out for his video. And if you have any questions for Magnus or for me, please leave them in the comments below. And please also subscribe to the Google Developers YouTube channel. And you'll see lots of videos like Magnus's release videos for Google Play services, as well as lots of other great stuff. Thanks again. And thanks again, Magnus. Thank you.